Hi everyone, I'm Simona from VectorTwist and welcome to this Adobe Illustrator tutorial where we'll learn how to create an easy isometric illustration. This is a quick tutorial and without any isometric grid, just with the 3D tools in Illustrator. And we'll turn a few simple shapes into an isometric smartphone icon. Before we start with this tutorial, please make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already, so you'll never miss any of the VectorTwist tutorials. And with that said, let's dive right away into Illustrator. First, let's create a rectangle. So pick the rectangle tool, click once on the artboard, and then for the width set 260 pixels, and for the height 475. Then click OK. Now I'm using a white fill and a black stroke. Next we're going to add some rounded corners, so switch the direct selection tool, and then grab the corner widgets. Now if you don't see them, simply go to View and then Show the Corner Widgets. Just grab them and pull them in. Now next we're going to Offset the Path. Now keep it selected, go to Object, Path, and choose Offset Path. In the pop-up put minus 20 pixels and then press OK. Now we need to add another small rectangle. So select the Rectangle tool and just create a small rectangle on top here. Then press and hold the Shift key, select the Offset Path, Click once on it again to highlight it so we can align it to it. Open up the Align panel and align it horizontally. Then we need to just add some small rounded corners on the bottom. So switch to the Direct Selection tool, select one anchor point, press and hold the Shift key and press the other one and with the corner widgets just round it out slightly. Before we can apply the 3D tools to create it into an isometric view, we need to combine the shapes. To have a better result, I'm going to select all of the shapes and then turn off the stroke, and then for the fill, I'm going to put a light gray, so we can actually see the shapes. Now keep them all selected and open up the Pathfinder. In the Pathfinder panel, we're going to choose Divide, and then after that, keep everything still selected, go to Object, and Ungroup. Once you've done that, I'm using my Smart Guides here, so when I hover over the shapes, I actually can see them. If you don't have them on, just go to View, and then select Smart Guides. Select the small rectangle and then press and hold the shift key to select the outer part. Now both are selected and then in the Pathfinder, unite them. Now we have our shapes and we can actually use the 3D effects in Adobe Illustrator. But before we do that, we need to group all of the shapes. So select all of them, go to Object and Group, and then we can go to Effects, 3D and choose Extrude and Bevel. Now in the pop-up, we're going to change the position into isometric top, and at the same time, we're going to choose 20 points for the extrude depth. And then very important, we're going to turn off the plastic shading, and we're going to select no shading. Once that is done, press OK. Keep it still selected, and then we're going to expand this effect. So object, and then choose expand appearance. Now you can see you have all sorts of shapes, and you could just keep the top and the side pieces, but just in case you want to create another effect, maybe create a little bit more depth to your icon, just keep them for now. Since we expanded it, all of the shapes are grouped, but we need to ungroup everything so we can combine the side pieces and then add the color to it. In order to do that, just go to Object and Ungroup. You probably have to do this several times, so just keep repeating it until you don't see the ungroup anymore. Then you can select the pieces. This is already combined, so we don't have to do anything to it. The same goes for the inside shape, but for the outside parts, we need to actually use the Pathfinder again. So I'm going to zoom in, and when I hover over it, I can see I have several pieces. So I need to just again work with the Shift key. So press and hold the Shift key, select the other piece, so both shapes are selected, and then one on the bottom. So if I zoom out, you can see I have three shapes selected, and then I'm going to unite them via the Shapes mode in the Pathfinder. Then the same goes for the bottom left. I have two pieces, press and hold the Shift key, and then again, unite them. Now we're ready to add some color. I've already added some of my global colors to my swatches panel, so all I have to do is select my shapes and then apply the colors. For the outer part of our smartphone, I'm going to add a gray. Then for the side piece here, since this is going to be the darkest part, I'm adding a dark green, the bottom left, a medium green, and then the screen, a light green. Once that is done, all we have to do is add a stroke. So select all of it, 
and then add a black stroke. Now you can see you've already created a simple isometric icon in Illustrator, and you didn't even use the isometric grid. We just worked with the 3D effects and just made sure that we're choosing isometric views, either left, right, top, or bottom. Then after that, all we have to do is add a background color. So I'm going to zoom out, open up my layers panel, and then create a new layer, drag it to the bottom. Right away, I can rename it and just call it BG for background. So I won't touch anything else of my layer on top. Let's call this icon. So everything is organized. Simply lock it and then highlight the background color. After that, turn off the stroke, choose a dark fill, and then just with the rectangle tool, add a background color. Once that is done, back to the layers, lock the background, unlock the icon layer, and then we're going to create a drop shadow effect. So select the top two shapes, create a copy, drag it to the side, and in the Pathfinder, just click Unite again. If you have some random shapes, just delete them with the direct selection tool and then give it a dark color than the background. I've already created that. Turn off the stroke and place it behind your icon. To do that, you just press Command or Control and Shift and then the open bracket. This will put it all behind our icon. Move it into place and that's it. This is how easy you can create an isometric illustration in Adobe Illustrator. Again, we didn't use any grid. We just used the 3D tools, had a few simple shapes, created a smartphone look out of it, and then turned it into an isometric icon. Now, of course, you can take it a step further and add some extras to it. Here's a finished icon illustration I made, just based on everything that I've just shown you. And that's it. I'll see you next time.